Aconaqua Braves are entering the field. Zebras will be right behind them as the national anthem complete. We'll have the uh, mock toy coin toss. But first, let's do the starting lineups. Being brought to you by Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester. Going beyond the expected for you. Well, the anticipated starters up front for... Um, well, obviously, Burner, the quarterback, we've talked about him. But they will have uh, Shelton, the running back, and Fuddy Kyle and A.J. Kelly, the wide receivers on the one side, Reasoner, Reasoner and Elliott, the running backs on the other side. And the tight end tonight will be uh, number 22, Dallas. We talked about him on defensively. He's also going to be uh, a threat on the uh, offensive side as he's one of those tight ends that Burner can throw to. For the Rochester Zebras, they will start, obviously, Car Carson Pollock behind uh, the Zebras controlling the offense. We do have a change in numbers because the Zebras are wearing the uh, Go Army jerseys tonight. So uh, Deming will be wearing number five tonight. And Wien, uh, will be Colin Wien will be wearing number one tonight for Rochester. But the other starters, obviously, uh, 21 uh, Parks will probably be in there with Meadows. You never know. Or, uh, uh, yeah, sure, Jewel. They'll split time. Brant back in the backfield along with uh, Colton Fervita. And those are the big three got to look out for. Those are the ones that are going to run the ball. You're going to guess with the rain, Rochester may not throw it a lot. But if they do, obviously you got Wesley Meadows out there. will be a starter to tight end. And, uh, you know, and also uh, Hook as another th dangerous threat. Uh, he's had a couple great catches. Right. Dylan made a fantastic catch for a touchdown last week. The only problem was called back by a penalty. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, you can see the athleticism in Dylan Hook and the, the growing confidence in yeah. him as well. We get ready for the coin toss here at center field as both teams are on the field and just waiting on the referee to get the captains. And now they'll head on out here, get the mock uh, coin toss. Again, the starting lineups tonight brought to you by Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester. Going beyond the expected for you. So the officials uh, will now meet with the captains and we'll see who wins the coin toss and which way we're going to go. Bob, what do you suppose tonight? If you win the coin toss, if Rochester wins the coin toss, what do you do? Defer. Okay. Yeah, I defer. We'll see what happens as the officials will give us the signal. Again, Randy and Val, RTC TV 4 and Giant FM Sports Cloud. You can join us tonight. We're just moments away from getting this thing kicked off as uh, the rain seems to be a little less again as it is, but it uh, does look like it's coming in from the west. Looks like uh, McConaughey won the toss. They deferred. So the Zebras will get the ball. So uh, both teams will head back for final instructions. Val, well, what hey, do you see as the keys? If I average 41 points a game, I'm not afraid to take the ball to start yeah. the game. I think I prefer to start on defense just to see if I can force an early turnover. But, yeah, uh, again, I, I think Rochester is going to try and really test the perimeter of the McConaughey defense early and then maybe try and loosen up the, the middle. And then if, they can, if you can loosen that up, then run through the middle with Deming later. I, I expect Brant Beck and uh, Colton uh, Fervita to get a lot of tackle, a lot of carries early. We'll see what happens as the Zebras will get the football to start. Parks will go back deep. Colton Fervita will be back there as well. As they get lined up, McConaughey will come out and set up to kick it here tonight. Again, we want to thank our sponsors all season long. Again, the Zebras are off next week. They get the bye kind of different. I, I don't remember ever uh, really getting a bye in Rochester football history. I looked it up. I, I couldn't find any yeah. instance of that. So, yeah, uh, we'll be keeping an eye on Winnemac, who's hosting yes. Triton tonight, and we're yep. keeping an eye on Lafayette Central Catholic, who's playing Western tonight, Okay, a 4A. Ooh, big battle. School, so that will be a big, yeah. There's, there's some really, you know, obviously the two TRC games, this one and the Crew Manchester yeah. game are big, but a lot of interesting games in the area non-TRC wise, including uh, Hamilton Heights and West Lafayette. That will be a dandy of a game. That will be in the Hoosier Conference, and uh, yeah. the final ever game between Knox and Caston is tonight okay. down the street, and the final ever game between Culver and Laville is tonight. So we're ready to go. The Odell Lumber kickoff being brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier, and kicking off will be number eighty-four. That's Gillis. Gillis kicks it to the side, and it will go 
out of bounds. So the Zebras will start in pretty good field position. As the kickoff rolls out of bounds, I thought maybe a Zebra was going to pick that up, but wisely letting it uh, go ahead and bounce it out. And they'll start it at the, uh, nope, they're going to make them re-kick. Okay, Zebras are going to take the penalty and re-kick it. Yeah, that means the Rochester's optimistic that they can return this out past their own 35-yard yeah, line. Right. And so they'll set up the wedge, and obviously Furvita and Park still back there. Again, it's it, it's always hard to know what what is a kicker trying to do and what wound up happening. It looked right. like he kind of put up a divot. Yeah. So they'll kick it from the 35 this time. And standing at the 20-yard line is Furvita and Parks. So we'll do it all over again. There's Gillis again with the Odell Lumber kickoff. It was interesting that he did kick it in the direction of Parks. He did kick it away not, from Furvita. Not many people have kicked it in the direction of Parks since his kickoff return for a touchdown against Whitco a little over a month ago. This time going right down the middle, picked up by Parks. Parks picks it up at the 25, crosses the 30 to 35, cuts it back up towards the middle. He gets across the 40 and going to be down about the 42, 43-yard line. So a good choice that time by the Zebras as they gain about six, seven yards extra from the penalty. Yeah, there was a good good blocking there by the Zebras. They put a, set up a wall there, and, you know, Zach had time to kind of pick his hole. That was a good job by the Zebras. So, again, Carson Pollock will run the offense as he comes set up under center. Deming behind him, back to the, uh, his right, Fervita to his left. Pollock up under center. Pollock hands it off to Deming. Deming around the left side. Deming. Breaks free, going to be down near the 50. They're going to mark him about the 49-yard line. So a big seven-yard pickup for Deming. And they give him six. Make it six. He's second and four now for Rochester. Just an off-tackle play there. Yeah. Well, last week we saw they try to go up the middle several different times, and Southwood was able to slow up the middle. This time Rochester, first play, kicks it outside just a little bit further. Pollock up under center again. Pollock, the handoff to Deming again, two in a row. He goes around the left side, and he's going to be down near the first down marker. And did he get it? They do. Wave it on. So it's a Steve Moore insurance first down for the Zebras, their first of the night. So it's first and ten now for the Rochester Zebras. The same play all over again. It did. Kind of it did. Just an off tackle play. Nothing. Run it to the left side. Run it towards uh, X's side. We should mention uh, Mason Heisey is a kid that Ron Schaefer really thought played well last week. Zebras soccer. look to throw. Pollock airs it up, and it's going to be on the near side. And no, incomplete. The intended receiver was Beck. And unfortunately, Pollock forced. And. Coach Schaefer not happy on the sideline. Getting the sub in, coming out is Zeiger. And going in was Mason Heisey. Yeah, I think there might have been a missed assignment there. <laughs> <coughs> so the Zebras will have it second and 10 from the forward, uh, yeah, the 46. And McConaughey almost jumping off sides. Beck goes in motion. The handoff to Deming. Deming around the left side. And Deming will pick up a couple of three yards. It'll be second or third and long now for Rochester. Well, Dausch was the guy who almost went off sides. He did. He was uh, tippy toeing. He almost went across, but he was able to hold back. And what was interesting is they ran the they basically ran that play away from Dausch. But good job of gang tackling by McConaughey. Third and eight now for the Zebras. Pollock, the double handoff, goes to Beck. Beck back around the left side. Beck's got a first down and more. Beck's on his horse. He's at the 20, the 15, the five. Touchdown, Zebras. So at the 9.59 mark of the first quarter on the first possession for the Zebras, they go up 46 yards. Well, that was set up, you know, you go basically strong side, strong side, strong side, and then you go misdirection. 
Nice double handoff, and Beck was the recipient of that as he ends up with a touchdown on the, and the Zebras. Now we'll go for two here, leading six to nothing. Hook goes split to the far side. The ball is in the middle of the field. Beck goes in motion again. Deming gets the handoff. He walks in for the two-point conversion. Deming is good for the two-point conversion, and the Zebras take the lead eight to nothing. Belly. Yeah. Belly. A belly. Yeah. Foul's favorite play. Yes. Eight nothing. Zebras lead it here at Giant FM and RTC TV4. In quarter, Zebra strike first, and Val, you've got the Rochester Ford scoring drive. Five plays, 57 yards. It took 201 off the clock. Brand Beck with a 44-yard touchdown run. Alex Deming with a two-point conversion run, and Rochester leads McConaughey eight to nothing with 9:59 to go in the first quarter. Well, it didn't. Uh, the rain sure didn't seem to affect the Zebras in that first drive, as uh, several runs to the left side. So here's Parker Wallace ready to kick it off. Back deep for McConaughey is, can't see his number. They do a little end over end squib kick and be taken here on the near side at the 25 yard line. That's taken by Fuddy Kyle. Fuddy Kyle crosses the 40 and he's finally gonna be brought down at about the 42 yard line or so. And pretty good field position for McConaughey as they get started here on their first possession of the game. E Ethan Bailey, the freshman, was there in tackle? It looked like it was him. All right, they're going to mark him right at the 40. So it'll be first and 10 for McConaughey. Six to six, Manchester and Peru. Manchester scores first. Manchester, or Peru answers. And here's McConaughey. Their first possession of the game. Again, Burner, the quarterback. They go twins each side. They don't change formation too much. They might go empty a couple times. Elliott goes in motion. Burner looks, tosses it out to his right, and that's going to be caught by Shelton. And Shelton turns it upfield, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds. About the 45 yard line. I have uh, from inside sources, the McConaughey does like to uh, do the onside kick occasionally as well. So we'll have to be watching for that. And that's a penalty against McConaughey and that'll negate the five yard run. So the penalty takes him back to the 30. And so it'll be first down and 20 now for the McConaughey Braves. Well, again, even, as much as they pass, they don't throw it deep. They don't run any, you know, fly pass, you right. know, nine routes or mm -hmm. go route. Right, just the occasional go route right just to keep you. High snap to Burner. Burner keeps it, fires it up in the middle. And that's going to be caught. And that is caught by none other than Fuddy Kyle. Kyle gets the penalty back plus a couple, so it'll be first in or second down and eight now for McConaughey. No huddle for the Braves. I mean that's what yeah, I mean that's what they like to do. They uh Reeser and uh Elliott to this near side to the far side is Fuddy Kyle and Kelly. Nobody in the backfield to go th trips to the far side. A lot of three-step drops. Here, Burner. He gets it out to Elliott. Elliott catches it. Elliott going to be gang tackled. He's going to get forward progress to about the 48-yard line, so it's going to be third and short now for the Braves. Kevin Young with a tackle. A first down saving tackle. So Shelton will come back and be next to Burner this time as they go Twins each way. Burner right next to, or Shelton right next to Burner. Out of the shotgun. Third and three for the Braves. Here's the high snap. Gives it off. Nope, fakes it, throws it incomplete. The intended receiver was Fuddy Kyle. And that brings up fourth and short now for the Braves. And it looks like they're going to punt it away right here about midfield. So the Zebra defense does a good job and will force a punt from McConaughey 
And again, the again you got to be careful because it looks like their punter is going to be. No, nope, Shelton's going to be back here. Okay, their punter is 44. Oh, there's no punt. They're, now they're, they're changing. They Fumble balls loose in the air as they try a trick play. And the Zebras pick it up. I think Brand Beck's got the ball. Beck does have it. And a little trickery on McConaughey's part as they direct snap that one to Elliott. If you're on RTC TV4, you can take a look here. They direct snap to Elliott. Elliott then tries to pitch it to Kyle, and it goes up in the air. And Beck able to pick it up. It's going to be a turnover on downs either way because they didn't uh, – wasn't going to be able to complete it, but Zebras get it now at the 49-yard line of their own with their second possession leading 8-0 on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Zebras quickly to the line now. Pollock up under center, sends back in motion. Deming right up the middle. Deming falls forward to about the 45-yard line into McConaughey territory. And the Zebras will have it now, second and five. That was just a bizarre pass. It was kind of like a shovel pass. It was more like a shovel, yeah. But it kind of. And Kyle just, he I don't know if he wasn't expecting that yeah. type of pass or that quick a pass, but he just kind of batted at it and it went up in the air. And all, yeah, all of a sudden it looked like a. Yeah, looked like a punt. <laughs> it just went up in the air. Zebras have it second and a five now. From the McConaughey 45. Just anybody's ball. Here's the pitch back to Fervita. Fervita coming to the near side, turns it upfield. He's going to have another Steve Moore insurance first down as he crosses the 40, going to be brought down to 39. And the second first down for the Zebras. That sweet play, the Zebras have gotten a lot of yards. Yes, on they have. Over the past. And they run it both years. ways. Yeah. Both directions. So 20 seconds on the play clock. Zebras come to, come to set to the line. 7.30 to go here in this opening quarter. Bollock up under center. Hard snap almost caught Dalish off the guard again over there on that far side. Now they give it to Beck. Beck around the left side. Beck breaks the tackle still oh. on his feet. Crosses the 30. Going to be brought down to 29. Well, they're going to give it right at the 30, and he needs to get to the 29 for the first down. So I think he's going to be second and one now. What a run by a, Beck. It was a counter. It was a fake belly. It was a fake belly. So second down and one now for the Zebras. Ball at the 30. they got to get to the 29. And Brand Beck, the last five yards, that was just pure effort on oh, his yeah. part. Uh, just kept the legs moving. And now let's see. The second and one. Basically, the whole playbook is available to yeah. you here. Let's see what Coach Schaefer has in mind. Pollock up under center. No C wide receiver. Come set. The handoff to Deming. Deming around the left side. Deming still working for it, and looks like he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up third and one now. There was kind of an issue there at the mesh point. Yeah, it didn't. I wasn't sure if Pollock was trying to maybe pull it out if he decided that it wasn't, yeah. and then he was going to kind of follow Deming. Kind of maybe a miscommunication there. Pollock will come in from the sidelines after talking to Coach Schaefer. Still plenty of time on the play clock. Game clock at 6.05 here in the first quarter. Zebras lead 8-0 on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Three, third and one. The pitch to Beck. Beck around the left side. He's got the first down and more. And another Steve Moore insurance first down for the Zebras. Yep, just a sweep to the left. Nothing fancy. Ferv helping out with the blocking. Yeah, nice block there by Ferv on that mm -hmm. lead. Ball sitting at the 27, 26 yard line for the Zebras as they're moving the ball. Three carries for 57 yards and a touchdown for Brand Beck already. Five and a half to go here in this opening quarter. Callan Ferv in at center. Pollock up under center. Pollock sends a man in motion. That's Fervita. He gets the handoff, and he's going to be thrown down in the backfield by number 51. That's Eli Price, the sophomore. He timed that just right, and as Pollock was able to hand off to Ferv, he was right there with him. Yeah, it was a jet sweep there. We usually see it's kind of the more traditional. There they tried the jet, but Price was able to penetrate. Loss of three yards. Ball's back at the 29-yard line now. Second and 13 for Rochester. 
So again, the Zebras with a lot of those off-tackle plays to Deming early kind of loosening up the perimeter, but Aaron McConaughey defended the perimeter as well as they have all night on that last play. Pollock picks back to Beck. Beck right up the middle. Beck still on his feet. Finally going to be brought down near the 20-yard line. So it's going to be third and manageable now for the Zebras. Still going to need about four yards, five. Short short five, long four. That was Rain a, continues to fall here at Barnhart Field. That was not an easy catch on no. the toss by Brand. I think he caught it with like his left hand. Yeah. Fall like up under center again. Third down for the Zebras. Beck gets it again. Same play. Round that left side. Beck cuts it back up the middle. And he should have a first down. And he does. Another Steve Moore insurance first down. And now we're inside the red zone for the Zebras. Farm Credit Mid-America Red Zone. Securing the future for rural communities and agriculture. Ball sitting now at the 14-yard line. Run behind Big Brother. <laughs> He'll lead the way. Yeah. Peru now leads 13-6 to six over Manchester. Heisey is at left tackle, and I guess X is playing kind of like a tight end spot almost. The handoff goes to uh, Deming. Deming up the middle as they fake it Deming, to uh, Beck as he goes in motion, and then they hand off to Deming, and he picks up. Let's see where they put it down. Looks like they're going to put it down at the 10-yard line. That was the first time we've seen the trap. So a pickup of three, second and seven. And McConquay did a nice job defending that. Yes. Uh, they were able to get low on Alex and. Well, you know, I talked to Coach Schaefer off off air, and I said, you know, the best way to keep uh, Fuddy Kyle and them off the offensive side is to control the offensive side of the ball. And Rochester doing that right now with time of possession. Deming gets it on the left side. He's going to be down near the first down. It's going to be short. So third and one. But yeah, if you had a time of possession right now, Zebra's definitely owning that. Yeah. He's going to be short of the five. He's got to get, I think, just to the other side of the five. So about third and a long one. Clock continues to roll. 2.40 to go here in this opening quarter. Zebras lead 8 nothing, and knocking on the door again. And Coach Schaefer is yeah, going to call a timeout. Was, yeah, there, there was, was some confusion, confusion on the line. Confusion on the line. We'll take a quick timeout. You can listen to Zebra Football. They lead 8-0 here at Giant FM and RTC TV. Oh, zebras. Four. I was going to say Tippecanoe Valley leads Bremen 10 to nothing in the first quarter. Okay. All right. Uh, Valley playing again without Nate Parker tonight, out with a foot injury. I, I heard he possibly could have went tonight, but they want to make sure that he's good to go next week as they travel to Indianapolis. Yeah, they're at Chitar next yeah. week. Uh, that's the second consecutive missed game, though. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. see how that reacts throughout the, the next week how that plays out. So it'll be third and short now for the Zebras after the timeout. Pollock up under center. Pollock, the handoff to Deming. Deming around the right side. Deming's in the end zone, touchdown. So a good call for the timeout. Make sure everybody was on the first page and uh, that page goes into the end zone. Alec Deming into the end zone. What well, a good block on that right side. It, kind of a combo. It was yeah. right back in there with a nice lead. Callen, also. Callen Fervida, yeah. Peyton Young, and Brand Beck were all there, and the Zebras have been the more physical team so far. Two-point conversion on the way for Rochester. And Beck goes in motion. The handoff is to Deming, and he's met in the backfield, and no good on the two-point conversion. Those Zebras lead it. 2.30 to go here in this first quarter. 14 to nothing on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Back with more right after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Bernhard Field, the Rochester Ford scoring drive brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. Val? Five, 11 plays, 51 yards. It took 5.57 off the clock. Alex Deming with a five-yard touchdown run. The two-point conversion run failed. Rochester leads McConaughey 14 to nothing with 2.33, with 2.30 to go in the first quarter. Longest play in the drive was nine yards, so just a workmanlike drive. Yeah, and like mm -hmm. I said, best way to keep their offense on the off the field is keep yours on the field. Mm -hmm. Zebras up 14-0. Here's Parker Wallace getting ready to kick off. 
Parker looks like he's kind of aiming it for the sideline. We'll see if he keeps it in. And he does. It's going to be picked up at about the 28-yard line by Fuddy Kyle. Fuddy breaks one tackle and finally going to be brought down by Parks. Fuddy almost broke that one. And the touchdown saving tackle by Zach Parks. And the Maconaqua Braves will take over first and 10 from their own 49-yard line, I believe. Yes, that is where they mark it. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight. Don't forget, coming up tomorrow morning, Coach's Corner on Giant FM Sports. Also downtown tomorrow is the Chili Cook-Off and Red Hot Car Show. Hey, don't let a little rain hold you back. So, Braves back on the field for their second possession, trailing 14 to nothing. Out of the shotgun, Burner. This time he has 44 Galvin next to him. Burner hands it off to Galvin. Galvin goes around the right side, and he's going to get across the midfield. And it looks like he's going to be like back here at Barn Hardfield. This injury report being brought to you by Woodlawn Health, earning the right to care for you and your family and the community. Well, the injured player for McConaughey, number 78, Zayden Butler, a junior being helped off to the sideline. It appears to be either... Uh, an ankle or knee area, not putting a lot of pressure on that one side. Yeah, he's able, yeah, able to put a little weight on it, but not a lot. And So uh, he'll be helped off to the sideline and get uh, looked at. He's their biggest lineman at 325. So we're back to live action now as the McConaughey Braves have it second and about seven. Single man set this side, trips to the far side, and Burner out of the shotgun. Burner, three stop back. Zebras give pressure and he's just got to get rid of it. And it's incomplete. Pressure coming from Deming and X. And they almost had him. <laughs> Burner had to get rid of it pretty, a lot quicker than what he wanted to. So now they'll bring Twins to the near side. Again, it's, there's, no, there's no real deep safety here. I mean, yeah. there's no center fielder, so to speak. There's out of the shotgun, Burner now looks to the sideline. Again, Kelly and Kyle to the far side. This side is Elliott and Reesner. It's like a 4-2-5 defense that the Zebras are playing. Here's Burner looking to throw the ball. Out, and he gets it out to Shelton out of the backfield. Shelton tries to turn it upfield, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds short of the first down. And that will bring up. Fourth down for McConaughey. What will they do as they are in zebra territory and about the, they're going to mark it down about the 45 yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it. Hurry up, the offense. Burner out of the shotgun. He's got Shelton standing next to him. Still looking to the sideline for the call from the coaching staff. Here's Burner now out of the shotgun. Drops back, looking to throw. He's got pressure. He unleashes it going deep. He's got a man open, and it is incomplete. The ball comes incomplete. Was that Kyle? No, it was Kelly. Kelly, AJ okay. Kelly, and he is. A.J. Kelly has speed, and he was down there, but unfortunately as he come down, I think he caught it, but as he came down with it, the ball came yeah, loose as it, after it hit the ground. couldn't quite hold on. Great effort. A.J. Kelly is the fastest person yeah. on this football field tonight. He yes, is. he is. He is a state qualifier in track. <laughs> he is a big time burner. He is a great athlete for Coach, and he will help out Coach Burris on the uh, basketball court this winter. So they turn it over on downs as they can't make the complete pass. Just couldn't quite come up with no. a great effort, though. Yeah. Great throw by Burner. So the Zebras will have it first and 10 from their own 44 yard line. Pollock up under center. Flips it to Beck, hands it back off, and it's going to be to Fervita. Fervita then loses it, or did he throw it out there? He lateral it He laddered it out to Pollock, and it looks like they might have saved any loss, and so it'll be second and ten. We saw it last week. That was not a, a well-thought-out play. So it'll save up. Oh, they do lose a yard, so it'll be second and 11 now. They tried the inside double handoff to the other side that right. time. Obviously, uh, McConaughey not allowing that one to happen. With a minute 11 here to go is 
Zebras lead at 14 to nothing, still in the first quarter. Pollock up under center for the third time here tonight. Zebras have it. They come around the near side this time. And they're going to get stood up. They do pick up two. And that was Deming. He'll get two, and it'll be third and nine now for the Zebras as the clock runs down. 40 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras will have this final play of the quarter. Pollock runs this play in from the sideline. Out of the last play of the quarter, third and nine. Pollock hands it off. This time to Fervent around the near side. Fervent is broke free. Third at the 20, 15, 10, 5, and touchdown, Zebras. Colton Fervita scores with 13 seconds left in the quarter. I want to see that block again. That was some sensational blocking by Peyton Young. Young, oh, great and seal. And Beck. then that was Brady Beck who went all the way to the other yeah. side. He's the left guard going all the way to the right sideline. And into the end zone does Colton Fervita go. That was a thing of beauty. 55-yard touchdown run. Who said Colton Fervita does not break away speed? <laughs> He was uh, got caught right at the goal line, but a good job by him to hang on the football, get in the end zone. Zebras will go for two. So the two-point conversion on the way for the Zebras. They pitch it, fervent up. Now he hands it off to Beck and stopped. The two-point conversion, no good. So on the insulation guy scoreboard, Zebras lead at 20 to nothing here as we uh, come close to the end of the first quarter. Still 13 seconds to go. Back with more after this, Giant FM. Nart. Oh boy, game of inches, isn't it? Yes. And now Peru, after Manchester scoring first, has ran 20 off. It's 20 to 6 now, Peru over Manchester. So the Odell Lumber kickoff coming from Parker Wallace. And here we go. Wallace gets the sign from the official. We'll see where he tries to put it this time. This time a little squib kick. Going to go right down the middle. It's picked up on the far side. Going to be brought back to the middle. Looks like a uh, fumble, but they whistle it dead. And that was brought back. Couldn't tell who brought that, that back. That was Kelly. Kelly, okay. A.J. Kelly bringing it back. And he gets to the 35-yard line. And that's where the Braves will take over. First and 10 with just eight and a half seconds to go here before halftime, or before the end of the first quarter. Seems like a very long first quarter. <laughs> Seems like it should be halftime. But we said it'd be a long game because of the throwing ability of McConaughey. So they'll come for yeah, the final I imagine, play. I would imagine McConaughey plays a lot of long games. Yeah. Yeah. Final play of the quarter coming. Burner out of the shotgun. Twins each way. And now next to him is number 44, Galvin again. Mixing it up a little bit between Shelton and Galvin. This time it's Galvin and penalty flags go and we do have a delay a game on McConaughey. <coughs> Not a good sign if you're coming out of an exchange when you get the ball, you should get the delay a game. But. So we'll mark it back five yards. It'll be from the 31-yard line now, set, uh, first down and 15. Lafayette Central Catholic leads Western 7 0 in the first quarter, okay. late in the first quarter. So now we'll try it again, again. Northwestern leads Twin Lakes 7 0 in the first quarter. McConaughey plays Northwestern next week in the section. Out of the shotgun, Burner calls for the ball. Drops back, looking to throw, looking. He got going to go deep, and he's got a man open, and there's a penalty flag. And that is going to be whistled against Parks on pass interference. I think he did kind of grab that shoulder pad. The pass was actually underthrown. It was. And because it was underthrown, yeah. there, was, there was contact. It was mm -hmm. inadvertent, but it was, it was, there was it's contact. contact. It's, it's not the official's job to judge whether it was inadvertent or not. So they'll march it off. And that should put the ball at the... 46 yard line. Should be enough for a first down. And it is a first down. 
So they still have .7 seconds left on the clock. They will get another playoff. Burner again out of the shotgun. Twins each way. Calvin's beside him. He steps back to throw. He unleashes it going deep again. And, and it's going to be incomplete, out of bounds, and that'll do it for the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter, Zebras lead it 20 to nothing here at Barnhart Field. You're listening to Zebra Football on Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Barnhart Field, the end of the first quarter. Zebras lead it 20 to nothing on uh, three big runs. Beck, Deming, and Fervita all getting into the end zone here in the first quarter as the Zebras lead it, like I said, 20 to nothing on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Twin Lakes 7, Northwestern 7. Scoring update. Wabash leads Whitco 14 to nothing with eight minutes to go in the first half. And it's uh, end of one at Manchester. And the Tigers lead it 20 to six. Randy went down with you. Glad you could join us on Giant FM Sports and RTC TV four. Now it is second and 10 for the Braves. Galvin nicks to Burner. Twins to the near side to hand it to Burner. He's gonna be met in the back for the ball's loose. And I think Burner got on it just in the nick of time. There's a couple zebras there. Both Beck boys were in there, and they were trying to jump on it. I like to see that tackle again. Was that Deming, or was that Peyton Young with somebody? That was a good hard hit. It was. Quick hit. Yeah, that was Deming. Deming. Deming knocked it loose. So now it is third and about 13. Burner again out of the shotgun. Burner looking to throw. Drops it across the middle. It's complete to Kyle. Funny Kyle breaks one tackle going down the far sideline. Funny Kyle's going to be into the end zone. Touchdown. So at the 11 12 mark, all it took was a pass across the middle. Funny Kyle catches it in stride and breaks a couple tackles down the far sideline. That was a good pass by Burner, but uh, Zebra's giving too much cushion, I think, to Kyle. The, yeah. the safety was, I mean, I mean, he threw it over the he threw it over the first level of coverage, but in front of the zone man, the safety. And the PAT coming for. But the rest was Fuddy. McConaughey. And the kicker tried to get his number 23, maybe. And here comes the PAT, and it's going to be up, and it's good. And so now it is 20 to 7 as the McConaughey Braves drive down the field and put their first points in the ball game. 20 to 7. Zebras lead it here on Giant FM and RTC TV. Four. Just, a, just, one, just 101 off the clock. Fuddy Kyle with a 58-yard touchdown pass from Braxton Burner. Extra point was good, and the score is now Rochester 20 and McConaughey 7 with 11-12 to go in the first half. How long was the pass? I missed it. 58. 58, okay. Yeah, on third and 13. Yeah, that's it's not what Coach Schaefer wanted. And so the McConaughey Braves on the board to start the second quarter. Now they'll get ready to kick it off to Fervita and but that's, Parks. I think what's frustrating is that, I mean, you, you know, your zone defense is designed to keep the, the guy in front of you. And it's going to be kicked to Parks. He lets it bounce, now catches it at the 10. Right up the middle, goes to the right side. Parks still plenty of running room, still on his feet, finally going to be brought down. Near the 38-yard line, 28-yard return for Parks. Northridge seven to nothing over Warsaw early in the contest. Jackson Burner on the tackle. So Burner in on that tackle. Peru now leads Manchester 26 to six early in the second quarter. So the Zebras will back on the field with their offense. Pollock up under center. Pollock, they hand off to Deming around the right side. Deming still on his feet, and Deming has enough Deming. for another Steve Moore insurance first down. Deming, that was just all power as he just ran yeah, that thing I mean, right up the middle. They're basically putting nine in the box. Yeah. In fact, they're really almost putting ten in the box. 
Um, so another Steve Moore insurance first down. Ball's at the 49-yard line of the Zebras right near midfield. Again, this McConaughey defense allows 20 points a game. They've already allowed 20 already, and we're not even two minutes into the second quarter. Here's the handoff. It comes to Beck. He comes to the near side. Beck turns the corner. Beck lowers his head and going to be pushed out of bounds, and he's going to get into McConaughey territory. We'll see where they mark him. Looks like about the 48-yard line. Douch didn't make the tackle, but he, he did everything but make the tackle. He penetrated, and he forced that play to go a little bit. Actually, they're going to give him to the 47. Closer to east and west, but I think the Zebras will take a four-yard gain. Second down and six now for the Zebras as they are going right to left on your radio dial. And the Go Army black jerseys with gold numbers tonight. Second and six now. Here comes back in motion. Deming gets the call. Deming still on his feet. He's slowed up. Looks like he might Deming got to the 45-yard line. Pickup of about two. Now it'll be third and four. Marcel Sims, a freshman with the tackle. So third and four now for Rochester. Clock continues to roll. Ten minutes and ten seconds here before halftime. Zebras lead at 20 to seven on the insulation guy scoreboard. Plenty of time on the play clock. 14 as they come to the line. Pollock up under center. Pollock to Deming. They fake to Deming. Now they give off to Beck. Beck on the near side. Beck lowers his head and he'll fall forward near the first down marker and he should have it. And he does. Steve Moore insurance first down for the Zebras. Great run by Brant Beck as he got to the near, to this side and just lowered his head and kept it going. And the thing about that second man through play is when those linebackers get aggressive and yeah. they got smoke coming out of their nostrils, <laughs> that just slows them down just a little bit. Just enough. So the Zebras have it first and 10 now from the McConaughey 40. And especially when you're playing against basically a nine-man front. Meadows the tight end. Get the handoff to Deming. Deming, uh, right. Pollock. Oh. Pollock kept it. Pollock did keep it. He followed Deming. Nice fake. Fake me out. Pollock with a big pickup of about six. It'll be second down and four. His first run of the night. Nice run by Carson. Well, that's one nice thing about having a running quarterback that can do that is, you know, you kind of – Mix it up a little bit. They right. hadn't gone to him yet. And Deming goes through the hole, and what yeah. Alex is actually doing is he's actually blocking for Pollock. He is. He's not only being a decoy, but he's helping out with the blocking. Pollock up under center again. Fervita goes in motion to hand off to Deming up the middle. Deming bounces off one defender. Deming still on his feet. Deming into the end zone. Touchdown. 40-yard touchdown run. Well, that's my second favorite play, trap. <laughs> From the 40-yard line. Because they got a whole bunch of perimeter runs, and all of a sudden they get trapped. Brady Beck, excellent block. Brant Beck with a nice downfield block, and the rest was about foot speed, and Alex wins the race. Deming good, and the Zebras will go for a two-point conversion again. So Zebras right now only one of two on the two-point conversions. Three, or one actually. for three, yeah. yeah. Trying to make it two for four. Man goes in motion, is Beck. Beck gets the pitch, back around the left side, and still trying, and denied again. So the two-point conversion not going through tonight for the Zebras as they lead 26-7 to seven here on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. We'll be back right after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV that one, The Rochester Ford scoring drive. Six plays, 62 yards. It took two minutes and 35 seconds off the clock. Alex Deming with a 34-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion run failed, but Rochester leads McConaughey 26-7 with 8.37 to go in the first half. Lewis Cass leads Southwood 22-7. And Coach, uh, Coach Davis going deep for this one. Gibson Southern 9, Boonville 2. <laughs> Uh, you never know what Coach Davis is going to come up Coach with. Coach Davis is inventing the names of schools. He's inventing a score. He's yeah. In, I think he's inventing a sport. Come on. <laughs> Again, Zebras Thanks, lead Coach it. Davis. We love you. 26-7. to seven. Here's Parker Wallace with the kick. This one is deep. 
and going to be taken at about the 10 yard line. It is A.J. Kelly. A.J. comes to the near. Now he's going all the way across the field. He's got an open room. Finally going to be caught and pushed out of bounds near the 35-yard line or so. The Braves have the ball first and 10. Brent Beck on the... So now the Zebras defense back on the field. Brent Beck hustled down Kelly. That was... I mean, Kelly's got... Elite speed. Yeah, he does. Like you said, the fastest one on the on the field right now. So we're going to mark it just shy of the 35-yard line. First and 10 for McConaughey. 8.27 to go here before halftime. Burner will spread everybody out. Fuddy Kyle and A.J. Kelly to the near side. Elliott and Reasoner on the far side. Burner and Galvin in the backfield. Now they go a man in motion. And they go to Kyle. Kyle makes the complete catch at the 40. They kind of went tri or uh, quads each way, or twins each way, and then they put Elliott in motion, kind of a different uh, look. Right. And a lot of that, they're, they're trying to um, yeah. get Burner a look. Okay, are they in man or are they in zone? Okay. Right. Because if, if, if the safety follows the guy in motion, then it's it's man. If he doesn't, it's in the zone. Parks now up on Kelly. Here's Burner out of the shotgun. Going deep, he overthrows Kelly and Evan Young there for the defense. Now Lorraine's picking up again. Coach Schaefer and staff uh, giving some instructions to the defense. McConaughey quickly to the line. As soon as the official sets it, they're going to be ready. Nice coverage by Gavin Young there. And I think the Zebras want and, timeout. Yep, Zebras do take the second timeout of the contest as they want to talk it over. McConaughey trying to hurry up and, and get something off, and Coach Schaefer didn't like it. Zebras lead 26-7. Giant FM Sports and RTC Burger. TV4. As uh, before, you couldn't see it in the lights. You had to really look, and now you can definitely – See it coming down. Delphi leads Taylor 20 to nothing late in the second quarter. Delphi plays Lewis Cass next week. Again, this is the final week of the regular season. Sectional start next week. Everybody goes back to zero and zero. Anything can happen that first week. Here's Burner out of the shotgun. Twins each way. Now he's got Shelton next to him. There's a snap. Burner. Throws it out to Kyle and makes the complete catch and a nice Good open tackle. field tackle by Parks. And he doesn't get him in time, but they do get a first down. First down for McConaughey. Ball sitting at the 46-yard line. Burner, nobody in the backfield with him. Again, just a quick hit to Fuddy Kyle and let Fuddy does what Fuddy does, and he gets another first down, down to the 39-yard line of the Zebras. Hook with the tackle. Zebra's just, Zebra's giving Kyle that little five, five yarder and that's what's being a hit right now is they just get it to Kyle with that five yards and let him go to work. Burner looking to the sideline for the play call. Three catches for 78 yards and a touchdown this quarter for Fuddy Kyle. Here's Burner again. This time he goes across the middle. It's gonna be complete to Elliott, Elliott. Down into the red zone as it's tackled finally at the 15 yard line. They kind of mixed it up that time as Elliott comes at a slant across there and Burner just hit him right in stride. Inside the red zone now for McConaughey. Farm credit, Mid-America red zone. Burner out of the shotgun. Looks to his right, now dishes it off to Shelton. Shelton to the near side. Cuts back up, and he's going to be brought down inside the 10. And that's going to be about the 8-yard line. Second down and 4 now for McConaughey. Brady Beck and Zach Parks on the tackle there. Combination. Game clock down to 640 here before halftime. Shelton stands next to Burner. Single set this time to the near side. Trips to the far. Burner. Flushed out of the pocket, looking, looking. He's got a man open and touchdown, complete to number one, DJ Elliott. DJ Elliott, touchdown, the clock. So at the 6.24 mark, 
It goes Werner to Elliott. And the PAT coming for McConaughey. And they kind of cleared out the middle of the field and Elliott was able to get loose. That was some big time quarterbacking on that drive by Braxton Burner, six for seven passing. What was the touchdown pass, how many? Nine. Nine yards? Nine yards on the touchdown. But uh, all seven plays on that scoring drive were passes. Here's the PAT, it is up and it is good. So with the extra point good, they cut the lead down. Zebras lead it 26-14 here on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Back with more from Barnhart Field, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Back here at Barnhart Field, the Rochester Ford scoring drive, Val. Seven plays, 65 yards. It took two minutes and 13 seconds off the clock. DJ Elliott with a nine-yard touchdown pass from Braxton Burner. Extra point was good. Rochester still leads though 26 to 14 with 6.24 to go in the half. Rain coming down harder as we mentioned, it's still coming down. And McConaughey will get ready to kick off. Back deep for the Zebras. Seven, Fervita, 21, Parks. And here's the Odell Lumber Supply kickoff. As the official blows his whistle, here we go. Little high squib kick taken to the sideline, and did McConaughey get it? He, he did, did catch it in bounds. Rochester stood there and watched it. They thought it was going to go out of bounds, and I couldn't tell who it was. What wow, he come flying in there as we look at the RTC I think that replay. Was, I think that was at Kelly. And was that tell. Kelly or Elliott? I couldn't tell who it was, but the Braves now get the football, but the officials talking on the sideline with McConaughey. I'm not sure what what they're going to whistle. It went 10 yards, but I'm guessing we got a penalty on this. Yeah, we do have a penalty. Penalty flag is just served. Well, now they're going to blow it. They're going to say it was a, on the kick. So did, so did they catch it out of bounds? Is that what they're saying now? Well, they gave the interference sign. I, I, I'm not sure exactly what that call is, but obviously it's against McConaughey and the coaching staff of the Braves not happy. Coach Schaefer's going to take it, I'm sure. And now we got to decide, do they get the ball or do they re-kick? Because can Coach Schaefer ask for a re-kick? They're, going to, they're officials coming over to talk to Coach Schaefer and explain what happened. And they, uh, I do have a, that that was Kelly. I was told it was Kelly that caught it. But the officials. Uh, what a sensational effort by Kelly. Oh, no kidding. I don't think I've ever was, seen that. I mean. So they are going to blow a penalty flag against McConaughey. And the Zebras will get it at the 35. So it's got to be interference, kicking interference. Reception interference. And now McConaughey is walking back like maybe they're going to kick it off again. So they are. No, Zebras are going to get it. But where are they marking it? At the 35. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what the official call was, but the Zebras yeah. will get the ball at the 35-yard line. I mean, you see interference with the opportunity to catch sometimes. Right, but, but the official kind of gave that push, but then he kicked his leg when he did it. And now they'll actually going to move the ball up to the 50. So the Zebras will get it at midfield. Great field position for the Zebras here. Yeah, great field position. Oh, well, here's the Zebras, the handoff around the right side. That's Deming. And now into McConaughey territory. They're going to mark him down at about the 43-yard line. So give him a three-yard pickup, second down and seven now for the Zebras. McConaughey ready for the trap there. Yeah. 
So Zebras quickly to, to the line now with under six to go in the first half. Second and six. They hand off, fumble, and I believe Carson got on it, and he did. Pollock able to get on. We wondered kind of on the exchange with these wet football, especially now that it's raining a little harder. It kind of had slowed up a little bit, but now raining harder, and that makes the football a little more slick. And they're trying their best on the sidelines, both sidelines, to keep the ball dry as they can. 5.20 to go here in the first half. 26-14, Rochester over McConaughey. Zebras at the line with nine in the play clock. Pollock up under center. Pollock, the handoff. Goes around the right side to Fervita. Fervita hurdles one defender, and it might have got him the first down, and I believe it did. Are they going to make it? Nope, they're going to give it to him. Steve Moore insurance first down. Great jump by Fervita here on RTC. You see it, and that got him the first down. He's able to hurdle over a McConaughey defender. And now the ball sitting at the 40-yard line. I think Ferb has set a season high for yards, rushing yards in the game already, and we're still in the second quarter. <laughs> he has been tremendous tonight. So first and 10 for the Zebras. Rain coming down hard again. Four carries for 68 yards. Pollock, the handoff up the middle to Deming. Deming's met at the line of scrimmage. He's going to get nothing, maybe a yard. And they do give him a yard. It'll be second down and nine. Probably one of the hardest yards Deming's had all year long as there was a host of McConaughey Braves at the line to meet him. Pollock coming to the side to get the call from Coach Schaefer. He'll run it back in with 17 on the play clock. We're down to 4.15 before halftime. Coming up at halftime, we'll have the winning edge halftime show. The pitch is to Beck. Back around the left side. Beck hits the hole hard, bounces off a couple of McConaughey defenders, and still falls forward. A big pickup for yeah, that Brent was Beck. Just terrific blocking by the left side of the zebra line. And it'll be third and one now for the Zebras. Third sharp zebras. Pollock quickly into the huddle. Now he'll break it. Third and one. Pollock up under center. I like a pass here. Pollock then checks out, looks at Coach Schaefer. Changing plays at the line, plenty of time, 20 on this play clock. Fervita gets the pitch. Fervita then is going to be hit, and I don't think he got it. And it's going to be, and here comes a penalty marker from the side judge, a late flag. Maybe a little extracurricular activities. We'll wait and see what this is. Personal and dead ball foul, personal foul against the Zebras. Ugh, that hurts. And Fervita will come out. I'm guessing as Coach Schaefer is talking to him that uh, that was on Ferv. Yeah, there was somebody from Rochester pulled Ferv out of the fray there. Yeah. So now that really hurts the Zebras as it pushes them back to fourth. And about Zebras should probably long. be punting here. Pollock is the punter as well, so we'll see what the Zebras look to do. Nope, they're going to go for it. The handoff goes up the middle, and the pile will push, but it's going to be a turnover on downs. Probably a better, probably not a bad call as it's wet and slick out there. You know, I don't know if you could have got a, a decent punt off or not. You do push them back to the 40. So a turnover on downs, that's where McConaughey will take it. You're gonna leave it to your defense for the final two minutes and 54 seconds of the quarter. So they're gonna mark it down at the 39. That's where McConaughey will take it. Randy and Val here with you in a wet, soggy Barnhart field. It's A.J., Kelly, and Fuddy Kyle to the near side. They go trips to the far side. Nobody in the backfield. Open backfield for Burner. Burner 
Goes to his left. It's going to be caught by Elliott. Elliott goes to turn up field, and he's going to be tackled. He'll pick up about three. It'll be second down and seven. Peru leads Manchester now 39 to six. Quickly to the line is McConaughey. Kelly moves in a little bit with Fuddy Kyle. Here's the snap. Burner looking to throw, flushed out of the pocket, and he's going to be sacked. Xavier Vance got him. Burner got sacked, and he will take no loss. They get him right back to the line of scrimmage. So third and seven now as the entire McConaughey team looking to the sideline for the play call. Down to 17, trips to the near side. Single set is Reeser on the far side. Nope, they're going five wide. Empty, Burner. They're going empty. Empty backfield. They look to the side again with three on the play clock. Two, they get it off. Burner steps back, looking to throw. He's got a man open, and it is complete and out of bounds for a first down. And that went to DJ Elliott. He knew where he had to get for the first down. And now, ball into zebra territory at the 49 yard line. McConaughey in the hurry up. It does stop the clock with a minute 38 as he went out of bounds. Again, twins each way. Galvin in the backfield. Burner looking to throw. Burner flushed out of the pocket again. He runs it and he's going to be tackled as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up second and 10. And we're going to have a stoppage by the official. The McConaughey player's helmet came helmet off. Helmet come off, okay. Yeah. So rain continues to fall fairly hard here at. Good play by Brady back to, yeah. uh, it was a gain of one, so it's not a sack, but a yeah. good hustle by Brady. And if Rochester can get pressure rushing four, that'll make the defensive backs jobs a whole lot easier. Minute 15, Burner out of the shotgun. Ball's loose, and Burner does recover, but he's going to lose a handful. High snap, and uh, just couldn't quite handle it. He just took his eye off it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then Deming finished him off for a loss of six. So now it's third down and Keeping 16. A loss of eight. Under a minute to go. Burner out of the shotgun again. Here comes pressure from the Zebras. Throws it out to the near sideline. It's going to be complete to Fuddy Kyle, but short of the first down as Kyle runs out of bounds at the 43-yard line. They need to get to the 39. McConaughey going to go for it here on fourth. It'll be fourth and four after a gain of 13. And four. That was a nice pass by Burner. He had to put a lot of air under that pass to get it to the far sideline. So here is it, out of the shotgun. Twins each way. Clock's down to 38 seconds. Fuddy's their go-to guy here. Burner, back to throw. Zebras put pressure, force Burner out of the pocket. He runs it himself, gets the first down and more. And now McConaughey calls their first time out of the contest. Stops the clock at 31 seconds. So we'll keep it here as we get ready for halftime. 39 to six now, Peru over Manchester. Game of 10 there by Burner. Any scoring updates on your side there, Val? See, Valley was up 24 to 10 on Bremen. They are putting some time back on the clock. Lafayette Central Catholic leads Western 20 to nothing at halftime. 32.4 seconds back on the clock now. What was that last one? 20 to nothing, Lafayette Central okay. Catholic over Western. Gotcha. So they put some time back on the clock. Peru and Manchester at halftime, 39 to six, the Tigers. Valley now leads Bremen 31 to 13. Knox leads Caston 22 to nothing at the end of one quarter. We do have 
One timeout remaining for Rochester, two timeouts for McConaughey. Twins each way. Triton leads Winnemag 28 to six at halftime. Gowan next to Burner. Burner out of the shotgun. First and 10 for McConaughey. Burner looks to the near side. Now he tucks it, he'll run it himself and slide. And Meadows will get credit for the so it'll be second down at about six. McConaughey calls another timeout, stops the clock with 26 seconds remaining. McConaughey, one timeout remaining. Rochester, one timeout remaining. Right before halftime, Zebras lead at 26-14. McConaughey trying to cut into this lead before halftime because you remember McConaughey gets the ball back to start the third quarter. So they're trying to go for a twofer here. Yeah. So after the timeout, it'll be second down and six. Brain falling hard here at Barnard Field. Buddy Kyle, six catches for 109 yards and a touchdown. He's over 100 yards already. Wow. Kelly will be on the near side. Also, Fuddy Kyle, the ball on the near hash from McConaughey. It'll be Elliott and Reesner on the far side. Galvin beside Burner. Burner out of the shotgun. Drops back, looking to pass. Looking, throws it. Wobbly coming out of his hands. Kyle goes back for it. Can't catch it incomplete. Excuse me. A.J. Kelly tries to come back for it. As that thing was wet, you could tell as soon as he released it, that thing just kind of started going wobbly. It's as hard as it's rained all night. Yeah. Zebras, I, I think if the Zebras would have turned around defensively, they probably would have had an uh, interception. Yeah. Uh, there was three of them there, and unfortunately nobody turned around to see. A.J. Kelly turned around, but unfortunately he couldn't get his footing in time. So it'll be third and six now. 19 seconds remaining before halftime. Trips to the far side. A.J. Kelly, the lone to this end. Buddy Kyle on the top. Now he's flush. Sack! Deming. Beck. And Brent. Beck. Yeah. And a loss. Now it's going to be fourth and 11. They're trying to hurry to get to the line. The Zebras need to hustle, and Monaconaqua is going to have to burn their final timeout because Fuddy Kyle was clearly in the end zone, and they couldn't stamp it until he got across. So that will five there. stop the clock with five seconds to go, and it's going to be fourth down and 11, and the ball sitting at the 40, or excuse me, the 34-yard line. Whew. Big play there by Beck. Yeah, and now you're kind of, you're right, because now it's basically Hail Mary time. Yeah, uh, and it's going to be tough to Hail Mary with yeah, this weather. You can't kick a field goal in this weather. And, yeah. uh, Defensively five, right now, you're Rochester. Five seconds in fourth down, so yeah. Rochester, you don't want anybody behind you. Right, exactly. Uh, Nobody gets behind you. You stop everything in front of you. Rochester going to put a four-man front, and everybody else is going to be deep. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. And Burner will go twins each way. Galvin beside him. Five seconds remaining. Fourth and 11. Here's Burner looking to throw. Burner flushed out of the pocket. He's going to heave it to the end zone and intercept it. Intercepted by the Zebras, and that'll end the half. And that's how the half will end. Parks. Yep, Zach Parks steps in front and intercepts it. So at halftime, the Zebras lead it 26-14 on your Insulation Guys scoreboard. We come back, the Winning Edge Halftime Show. After this on Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Fitting your team for success from the locker room to the office. Stop out and see them at the winning edge and see what they can do for you. As we are at halftime, 26-14. Zebras lead it on the insulation guys scoreboard. Scoring started at the 9.59 mark of the first quarter with a 49-yard run by Brant Beck. Deming two-point conversion was good. Zebras led it 8-0. 
Then at the 2.30 mark, it was the five-yard run by Alec Deming. No good on the two-point conversions. He was led 14 to nothing. Then with 13 seconds to go before the end of the first quarter, it was a 55-yard run by uh, Fervita. The two-point conversion, no good. And the Zebras took a 20 to nothing lead into the second quarter. 11 minutes and 12 seconds left in the second quarter. It was Burner to Kyle for a 58-yard touchdown pass. The PAT was good, and it was 20 to 7. Then at the 837 mark of the second quarter, a 34-yard run by Alec Deming put the Zebras back up 26 to 7 after the two-point conversion failed. And at the 624 mark of the second quarter, it was Burner to Elliott for his second touchdown pass of the night, a nine-yard pass. The PAT was good. And the Zebras take the lead 26-14 here to halftime. Val, you've got some halftime stats for us. Rochester leading rusher so far is Alex Deming. He has 15 carries for 93 yards and two touchdowns. Brand Beck has eight carries for 90 yards and a touchdown. Colton Fervida has five carries for 67 yards and a touchdown. Carson Pollock with two carries for three yards. Uh, Burner. Burner actually leads them in carries with six, six <laughs> carries for two yards. And a couple of those were, and a couple of those were just flushed out of the pocket. He didn't have a choice but to try to run it. Yeah, and most of them kind of on that last yeah. drive. Uh, we mentioned Fuddy Kyle, six catches, 109 yards and a touchdown already. Elliott has, uh, three, uh, excuse me, he has four receptions for 38 yards and a touchdown. Excuse me, he has five receptions. 41 yards and a touchdown. And so five receptions for Elliott already. That's kind of an, that's uh, a that's, high number that's, for that's him. That's interesting yeah. to see. Uh, they've really been looking for him tonight. And then Shelton, I have him with two receptions for 10 yards. But again, on that one touchdown drive, it, was, it went seven plays. Those were all passes. And then uh, really, uh, uh, you know, they've, they've really, you know, we were kind of wondering, you know, how they're running. A little squib kick going to be taken right up the middle. It's going to be picked up by number 11, Sims. Sims then will basically just fall on it right at the 40-yard line. And that's where the Braves will take over first and 10. Randy and Val here on Giant FM on RTC TV4. Glad you could join us for this wet, soggy football game. The week number nine into the final regular season. And it appears uh, Peru taking care of business in Manchester. They will go on and win. Uh, the TRC with an undefeated record. This game here will decide who gets second place because both teams tied at 6-1. and one. Yeah, kudos to Coach Mikowski. Just yeah. a great, great job. What a turnaround uh, season. Uh, I don't know of anybody who picked them to win the conference at the start of the year. <laughs> Much less go 9-0. and oh. Right. So we got uh, Twins to the far side, Twins to the near side, Burner under center, or excuse me, out of the shotgun. And there's a jump and a penalty marker right off the bat. So a five-yard penalty, and we'll put it back first and 15 now. So it looks like uh, Galvin in to start the third quarter, standing next to Burner. We didn't see a ton of Galvin. They kind of rotated yeah. him in along with uh, Shelton. Shelton. Shelton 6-1, Galvin 5-7. This is a McConaughey team with a pretty uh, – got a large junior class. They'll be one of the favorites in the TRC. Burner next hands it off to Galvin. Galvin tries to go up the middle, and he'll pick up a couple out of that, and it's still going to be second down and long now for the McConaughey Braves. Peyton Young with the tackle. Now going trips to the far side. Twins to the near. Nobody in the backfield. Burner out to Fuddy Kyle. The five-yard pass is complete. Kyle breaks one tackle, breaks another, slips through a third tackle. He's off to the races and finally going to be pushed out of bounds. And pushing him out of bounds will be Dylan Hook. But not before he can get into zebra territory and a big first down. Well, that's just Again, what's so scary about him. Yeah, that's what we talked about, those five-yard hits. And that's what they did. 27 yards on that pass play. Now they stack them this side. Again, out to Kyle. A.J. Kelly, the blocker. Fuddy going down the sideline, and he'll pick up, looks like about seven as they quickly get to the line. Give him eight. It's going to be second down and two. Actually, no, marking at nine, so second and one now for Burner. And the Braves out of the shotgun. Burner. Galvin next to him. And they hand off to Galvin. Galvin goes around the left side. Galvin's got enough for a first down, and he gets down to the 20-yard line at the red zone 
Farm Credit Mid-America red zone, and it's another first down for the McConaughey Braves, who quickly back at the line again. First and 10 from the 20. Burner. Acts like he's ready for it. Now he'll check off and call a different play as he looks to the sideline. Zebras come up on the ends. Burner looking, throws it out. It's going to be complete. That appears to be Elliott. And Elliott will pick up seven or eight yards. It'll be a second down and short now for the Braves. Rain continues to fall, but the Braves are moving the ball quickly, all pretty much in the air. One run right now. Galvin's beside Burner. Trips to the far side, and Footy Kyle went off the wrong count, and that'll meet her back five yards. As he go trips to that far side, left A.J. Kelly, the lone man over here on the near side. And that'll move him back five. It'll be second down in about seven or eight. Too much Fuddy business. <laughs> now Fuddy will come to the near side. Twins this side, Twins far. Galvin again, Nicks to Burner out of the shotgun. North Jets leads Pioneer 19 to 12 at halftime over in Royal Center. Those Bert. two teams will meet again next week at Galvin, North Jetson. Galvin can't make up what's mind which side of Burner he wants. Now he comes set. The handoff to Galvin. Galvin tries to go up the middle and he's gonna be stuffed as he picks up maybe two. It'll bring up third down and log now for the Braves. Again, Kelly and Kyle on the near side. This is probably four down territory from the Conquo. Twins to the far. Now they go tw trips as they put Galvin out there. Empty. Yep, empty backfield. Burner. Plenty of time on the play clock. Down to 18. Takes his time. Looks at the sideline again. Now makes a decision. Out of the shotgun. A high snap. He takes it. He'll run it himself. And he's going to be close to the first down. And he gets it. They spread everybody out and then just run Burner right up the middle. Right on a draw. Rain seems to be coming down even harder. And again, twins each way. Galvin back beside Burner. Game clock down under nine minutes in the third quarter. They throw it to the left side and it's gonna be complete. And I can't tell was that one or three and it looks like one Elliott. <coughs> now they'll switch out, Shelton will come in. Shelton will stand next to Burner into the shotgun. Twins again each way. Gain of five. Second and goal now for the Braves. They give it to Shelton. Shelton goes up the middle. Shelton going to be stood up, I believe, and they're going to give him one. It's going to be third and goal. Third and goal. The ball is at the at the three yard line. Well, that's the thing about this offense. It's it's not made for the red zone, or at least it's not made for the goal line. Yeah. Uh, let's see if they try to get a quick screen. Elliot, either to Fuddy, either to Fuddy or one of the running backs. They're going empty. No, it's going sneak. Excuse me, under center. He did go under center, and it's going to be short. Going to be at the one yard line. So fourth and goal. Oh, well, I figured it wasn't going to Kyle or, or AJ because they didn't go in again up and in the zebras. The zebras hold. The zebras hold at the goal line. Turnover on downs. Wow, what a stop. RTC TV4 fans, you'll be able to take a look at this, but a great job by the zebra line. And as Burner goes up under center and he is stuffed, goes nowhere. That was a, just a team effort. Peyton Young finally pulled him back, but Brady Beck kind of uh, just anchored himself down there. He, he knew they would go fast, and I bet that was film study. So now the Zebras need to take their time. They find themselves at the goal line. They don't want to mess up here. First and 10 from the one. Make sure you hold on to it and get outside of the end zone. 11 play drive, they don't get any points. They go up the middle. Now they turn it outside, and that'll give you some running room as uh, they give it to Mr. Dimming, and he'll get you outside near the six-yard line. Get a big five-yard pickup there for Alex Dimming, gives you some breathing room. Yeah, that and went behind Brady Beck. So now second and five from the six. 
Pollock up under center. Pollock turns, hands it off again, and uh, is that Deming again? I believe. And it is Deming as he gets four. It'll be third down and one now. Ball sitting at the 11 yard line. Looks like they need to get to the 12. Huge, huge play here. This is really big. Third and one. Pollock up under center. Pollock to Deming again. Deming around the left side and he has enough for a first down. Another Steve Moore insurance first down. Basically the last three plays have been runs. Deming running behind Brady Beck. So it'll be first and 10 for the Zebras. Peru now up 45 to six with a running clock at Manchester. 18 carries for 106 yards now for Deming. And the Zebras fumble the ball, picked up by Beck. Beck picks it up and still goes forward. Beck doing a good decision, realizing he fumbles it. That ball was just lying there for yeah, a good half second. Yeah. Danger could have occurred there as Beck never really had it, but he was able to pick it up as it comes out. Picks up two yards. It'll be second down and eight. Rain is coming down hard. Now 52 to six running clock at Manchester. Peru leads. So Peru will win the conference 8-0, 9-0 on the regular season. Here's Pollock up under center. Pitches it back to Ferv. Ferv around the right side, cuts it back up the middle. Ferv near the 20. Going to be brought down at the 21 yard line. It's going to be third down at about four now for the Zebras. They switch balls out, try to keep a, a dry football in there. Not sure that can happen. Nice little cut back by Ferv to get about two or three extra yards there. I have a third and three from the 21. Big third down again. Keeping the drive alive. Well, that's and, offside, yep, I believe. There's a jump on the Braves. Free first down for the Zebras. Carson Pollock has done that a couple different times. I've seen him come out of that third down, and he makes that hard snap, hard count. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's almost got, uh, what was that, 22. The Dowsh almost caught him a couple times. Yeah. That time he got a lineman, and it's an automatic first down for the Zebras. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Zebras. Pollock to Ferv, now back to Beck. Beck falls forward, and it'll be a pickup of about two as rain continues to fall here at Barnhart Field. That was a nice play. Was that, that Dowenhauer, Dakota Dowenhauer, 52? Okay. A nice play. Zebra's only able to get one on first down. Second and nine now for the Zebras from the 27 yard line. To Fervita, Fervita bounces it up the middle. Ferv now down to the 35 yard line. A great run by Colton Fervita around that right side as he cuts it back up the middle. So now he. Not a first down. Nope, just short. Third and one now for the Zebras for making extra sure he held on to that one. Two carries for 13 yards on this drive for Ferv. So it'll be third and short now to, for the Zebras. Uh, up to 80 yards for the game for Ferv. Pollock hands it off to Deming. Deming gets the first down and more. Covers the football and still on his feet as he crosses the 40, finally down around the 41. Another Steve Morton insurance first down. And again, that's the, you know, again, we go back to the Peru game and that aiding penalty. Again, yeah. I have no idea what's what's aiding a runner and what isn't. Right. Depends on the crew. Yeah. Clock continues to roll. We're under three and a half to go here in the third. But the bottom line is that's Alex Deming, a strong young man who first just and, keeps his legs moving. First and 10 from the 41. Ferovita goes in motion. The handoff is to Deming up the middle. Deming breaks free. Deming at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Alex Deming. Touchdown, 
Big run by Alex Deming at the 6.02 mark. Just superb blocking. They didn't get a hand X on him until a, he was in the yeah. end zone. X got a big block there. Kelly finally got him, but not until he was in the end zone. Yeah, I didn't, yeah Kelly, I, uh, again, great effort, but that might have been. Uh. Two-point conversion coming for the Zebras. Wow, what a turn in momentum. They pitch it back. Here's Beck. Beck is in the end zone. The two-point conversion good. And so now the Zebras take a 34-14 lead with 3.02 to go here in this third quarter. Back with more after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Hard field. The Zebras put eight on the board. And, Val, well, how'd they do it with the Rochester Ford scoring drive? Nine plays, 99 yards. <laughs> Took 434 off the clock. Alex Deming with a 59-yard touchdown run. He's up to 20 carries for 171 and three touchdowns. 302 to go in the third quarter. And Rochester leads. Uh, Brand Beck tucked down a two-point conversion run, by the way. And Rochester leads McConaughey 34 to 14 with 302 to go in the third. I would say that's, I don't think the Zebras have done 99 yards this year. I think that was the first time. That's a, that's a big drive. Yep after a great stop by the defense at the goal line. So now the Zebras will kick off. Parker Wallace ready to do the Odell Lumber Supply kickoff, your only locally owned building supplier. Kelly's back deep. Here is the kick from Wallace. Wallace, little squib kick, and it's going to be taken and fell on uh, right at about the, where is that, the 40, no, 38-yard line. Marcel Sims recovered it. He, he just kind of fell on it as it was kicked right to him, and that's where the Braves will take over first and 10. Again, on the insulation guys' scoreboard, Zebras lead at 34-14, with 3.01 to go here in the third quarter. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Don't forget about Coach's Corner tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. We'll talk to five area coaches, Winnemac, Caston, Culver, North Miami, and Coach Schaefer, the Rochester Zebras. We'll talk about tonight's games, and we'll preview next week's sectional games for four of those five teams as the Zebras get the bye. We'll talk to Coach Schaefer and get his feelings about that coming up tomorrow morning. All right, here's Burner back on the field for McConaughey. They put uh, Galvin in motion. Now they throw out to him on the far side. Galvin catches it, runs out of bounds. And he is not going to get anything. They wave him out of bounds right at the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be second down and 10. Zebras again lead 34-14. Winner of this game will get second place as Peru is dominating Manchester. Burner out of the shotgun, trips to the far side. Single set this way is A.J. Kelly. They throw it in, it's gonna be short, and they're gonna throw a flag. And Coach Schaefer not liking the flag, and some of the staff as well. Parks comes up with a great, and I guess they're saying it was incatchables, that's why they're throwing the flag. Well, now he just indicated it was mechanical. I think he pointed the wrong direction. That's not the first time he's pointed the wrong direction in this game. <laughs> so now they're calling pass interference. Was it early? Yes. Yes. It was early. Uh, but so now the Braves get an automatic first down, and the ball moved up into zebra but territory. Again, uncatchable is usually for balls that are thrown like way out of bounds. Right. That's. Here's and Burner. What's frustrating is that would have been an incomplete pass. And Kelly slips. Burner's going to have to keep it, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield. A loss of a yard or two as Burner had Kelly open, but he slipped coming across. As you'll see, Kelly makes a turn, and just out of the camera view, he slips, and Burner came. Alex Deming, yeah. great hustle, and with help, actually with Peyton Young with great hustle. Yeah. He had a man down that sideline and didn't see him. And a loss of one, so that's a sack for Peyton Young. Second and 11. Play clock down to 13. McConaughey still looking at the sidelines. Trips to the near side. Now they send Kyle in motion. Burner, three stop and drop. Throws it out to Galvin. Galvin makes the catch, and he's going to be brought down 
by Colton Fervida, and they're going to pick up two. It's going to be third and nine. I think Rochester will settle for uh, that uh, little pass like that all night long, and well, as especially long as when it's not to Fuddy Kyle. Well, yeah, and, and especially, <laughs> yeah, right, and especially, I mean, that, that's open field tackling has been a little iffy yeah. tonight, but that was a really good tackle there by Ferv. Kelly and Fuddy Kyle to the near side. Burner out of the shotgun. Burner comes to this near side and overthrows. I don't think he had a real good grip on that one. Yeah, Fuddy was the intended receiver, yeah. but they got two two guys right on him. Brant Beck was there, and uh, Gavin Young was there too. Also, Deming giving pressure to Burner in the back in the uh, in the backfield there, forced him maybe to throw it a little quicker. Conco, I really have no, really don't really have a choice but to go for it here on fourth and nine. Fourth and nine, midfield. You know, I was talking with Peyton Young last week. He, I said, how much did you weigh last year? How much did you weigh this year? He goes, last year 250, and this year 240. And he goes, 240 lean. They bring in another tight end. Burner comes to the near side. Burner looking to throw, and it is dropped. And it's going to be a turnover on downs. And the Zebras will take over at pretty good field position at their own in a 46-yard line. Kelly had it. I mean, it, it would have been a first down if he had held on. Yeah. And... I think he was, you know, he's, again, it's wet outside. You're probably keeping an eye on your feet. Yeah, it was and tough. I got to get a, you know, I got to get a foot in bounds. And so turnover on downs puts the Zebras at the 46-yard line, leading 34-14 with a minute 25 to go here in the third. So well. Uh, Snap it. They go up to the middle with Deming. Deming. He'll pick up a pretty good carry. And the Zebras have somebody stretching out over here. Dr. Feldman over there going to help stretch them out. Can't tell who it is for sure. And another Steve Moore insurance first down for the Zebras. Clock continues to roll. And right now, that's what Rochester wants. Just grind it out on the, on the floor, in the field. Let the clock run. Down to a minute five. Fervita goes in motion, the handoff up the middle to Deming. Deming around the right side, he breaks free. Deming gonna carry a, re a defender and he's gonna be down in the red zone. And that's the Farm Credit Mid-America yeah. Red Zone, securing your future in rural communities and agriculture. Great run here as we take a look at it on RTC TV4 replay. 26 more yards for Deming. Yeah, he just he pops just out over, of that pile. He just went over 200 for the game. Great game for Alex Deming. Here's Colton or Carson Pollock. Pollock. Pollock fumbles and picks it up and falls down. Clock will continue to roll. They won't have to run a play for the quarter, and I'm guessing they'll just go ahead and let the quarter run out. We'll see. It's going to be second and 11 as he loses one on that one. And Coach Schaefer's going to keep Mr. Pollock to the sidelines. And I'm going to guess that's going to do it for the quarter, and it will. Zebras will take a 34-14 lead into the third quarter when we come back here on Giant yeah, FM and RTC TV for the fourth and final quarter. Hard field as we get ready for the fourth and final quarter. Zebras leading 34-14, and a final. Chittard beats Elder of Ohio 34-7. Chittard, the real deal. Yeah. Tipping yeah. Valley heading down there I next heard they Friday have night. Division one players, plural, players. on that team. Not singular. Yeah. I need a windshield wiper on my window. Can we get that there, Principal <laughs> Hawes? I, I can't see out there. Can, Zebras will have it first and 10 as they go around the left side. I believe. There's Deming, and oh, he lost it. He did. Deming loses it a tough loss for the Zebras as they were moving the ball well. And, Running the clock, not a good way to start the fourth quarter. A tough loss. And that's what happens when it's wet out there. Unfortunately, you never know when it's going to slip away. And McConaughey recovers. It'll be first and 10 from the 20. Wow. So McConaughey will come back on the field. Werner will bring him out into the shotgun and twins each sway. Looks like it'll be Shelton next to him this time. 
Burner. Throws to the right side. It's going to be incomplete. A couple zebras there making the hit right as the ball goes. But it's uh, incomplete. It appeared to be, was that uh, Buddy Kyle, the intended receiver? Either Kyle or Kyle Kelly. Or Kelly, but yeah, they heard footsteps. Yeah. Burner, again, same formation. Twins each way. Out of the shotgun. Now it's going to be Galvin in the backfield beside him. Burner will fake the handoff. Now looking to throw. He throws it out to the right side. It's going to be complete by Fuddy Kyle, but it's going to be short of the first down marker. We're going to bring up third down and one. Warsaw leads Northridge. Nope, they're tied, excuse me, 10-10 at the end of the third quarter. 52-6, your final. Peru wins the TRC 8-0 as they defeat Manchester tonight. High snap, he pulls it down, hands it down to Galvin. Galvin goes up the middle. He's got some running room. Galvin's Finally going to be brought down at the 40-yard line, and that's enough for a McConaughey first down. McConaughey will have a first down. Wesley Meadows on the Meadows in on that tackle. Gain of 12 there. Quickly to the line. Burner looking to throw. Burner out in the flat. That's going to be overflown. Over. Thrown incomplete. It'll bring up second down and ten. Zebras just got just enough pressure there yeah. to bother Burner. Mm -hmm. So it'll be second and ten from the 40. Again, Zebras lead at 34-14 with 11:25 to go. The winner of this one will get second place all to themselves. Both teams are tied at six and one. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. It's nice to be in the press box. Yeah. Burner out of the shotgun, looking to throw. Quick throw over to his right. It's dropped. And that was Fuddy Kyle, and you don't see that very often. That just tells you how wet it is out there. Fuddy Kyle does not drop the football on that easy of a throw very often. Third and ten. Obviously, uh, four down territory for McConaughey Braves, trailing by 20. Twins each way. Burner calls for the ball, a high snap. He catches it. Here comes pressure. He throws. He's hit as he throws. It's incomplete. Intended receiver. Funny. Funny again, and he's got a great big old dirt mark down the right side of his back. And it'll be fourth and ten. Zebra defense doing a great job up front pressuring Burner. Right, and not giving Kyle too, not giving Fuddy too much yeah. uh, space on the catch, not giving him too much cushion. Yeah. Obviously you want to keep everybody in front of you when you have a 20 point lead in the fourth quarter, but. Here's the throw, Burner throws it out and it is complete right at the sticks. And yep, they're not even gonna measure it. They just give them first down. Wow. Kelly, that was a heck of a play. Great catch right at the line. So another first down for the Braves. They're quickly back up at the line. Here we go. Throws it out and dropped again by catch Kyle. Kyle, the intended receiver. And we definitely want to give Caleb uh, Wilson a shout out tonight. He's the cameraman for RTC Caleb. out there. Yeah. Braving the weather, doing a great job, Caleb. Keep it up. Here's Burner, drops back. Here comes the pressure from the Zebras. A little floater over the top, caught by Galvin. And he's going to be brought down at about the 25-yard line, or excuse me, 45-yard line of the Zebras. Fervid on the tackle. So it's going to be third down at about six. Clock continues to roll, 10.45 to go in the contest. Out of the shotgun, Burner again, drops, looks, comes to the near side this time. That's complete to Elliott. Elliott goes out of bounds. And Elliott makes the completion, but it's going to be short of the first down, I believe. And they're going to take a look at it. Nope, they do give it. First down, McConaughey. 
The ball right at the 40 yard line. Right at the 40. If you're watching on RTC TV 4, right in front of the cameras. Here's Burner out of the shotgun. Trips to the top. Burner flushed out of the pocket. Burner still looking to throw. He does it the last minute, and it's going to be incomplete. That was dropped. Yeah. I thought that was that was a good, pretty good pass, yeah. I thought. And it's dropped. So it'll be second down and 10. As it's rain starting to uh, plug up the window here. Tippecanoe Valley leads Bremen 44 to 16. Valley, Valley will travel to Chittard. Yeah, Valley and Chittard will both. Is that where you're going? You're going with Steve? That's where we're headed, yeah. yeah. Next and, Friday? Yep, both will finish with 9 0 records. Burner out of the shotgun, puts a man in motion. That's Fuddy Kyle. They go to the opposite direction. It's going to be caught. Kelly has it, and Kelly will pick up about nine. It's going to be second down and the one. Burbitt on the tackle. So, Burner quickly to the line. Third and about two now. Burner, he's going to keep it himself. Fumbles. F falls on it, and it's going to bring up fourth and one. Big wow. hit by Brady Beck. Yeah. Thought he might have fumbled it, but he, he was able to hold on. Burner thought he was going to uh, have a first down as he took off, and Beck says, no, you're not. Would that be a takedown in wrestling? That would be. <laughs> yeah, he's practiced that before. So he, says clock, he, he says he wrestles once a week during football season. Clock continues to roll. That doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. Nine and a half to go. Here's Burner. Burner throws it out. It's going to be complete out to Elliott, and Elliott will get another first down and keep the drive alive for the Braves. Boy, Braxton Burner is some kind of competitor. Coach Schaefer not happy with somebody as the headset come off, giving a little instruction. 14th play of the drive coming up. Burner drops to back to throw. Burner down the middle, and it's going to be complete. And a diving catch by Buddy Kyle. Buddy Kyle with a big diving play, and it's going to be complete. And it's down inside the 10, or right at the 10. First and goal for McConaughey. There aren't many receivers in the area who can make that play. Twins again each way. Burner back to throw, pressure coming in, he's going to be sacked. Brought down by Brady Beck. And he'll lose, what did they do, lose about five? Is he back to about the 15? Yep. So it'll be first and goal, or second and goal now from the 15. Burner back to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. He throws it up in the air into the corner, and it's dropped. Bounced off the hands. Was that A.J. Kelly? The jerseys are getting uh, yeah. uh, brown instead of white, and it's hard to see numbers. That was it. Clock stops yeah. at 8.17. Well, one play after they, they, they sacked him on the previous play there, they did not contain him, and he was yeah. able to get outside the pocket. So, Burner back in and out of the shotgun. They're going to bring trips to the near side, including Fuddy Kyle, Elliott, and Reeser. Kelly, low to the top. Galvin beside. They get it to Kyle in the roundabout. Kyle tucks it. He's trying to go, and he's going to be thrown out of bounds. I hope they're going to say he stayed in bounds. And the clock will continue to roll, and it's going to be third, or excuse me, fourth and goal. Again, this is where the Zebras held last time. We'll see what McConaughey decides to do. They're a little further out. Looks like they're, uh, where are they at, the 10? They gain a four on that play. Burner out of the shotgun. And they're going to stop the clock with a timeout for the Zebras. Yes. 
Zebras call a timeout. 7.43 to go here in the fourth quarter. They lead 34-14. Zebra football, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Hard, hard field. It's going to be fourth and goal now for the McConaughey Braves. Ball sitting at about the 10-yard line. Triton has defeated Winnemac 35-6. Okay. McConaughey will come out of the shotgun. Twins each way. Kyle up out of the shotgun. Fourth and goal. Burner back to throw. Burner throws it over the top and gonna be knocked down and incomplete. Turnover on downs. I didn't see you got a hand on that. Was that Parks? Uh, Somebody got a fingertip yeah, on the ball. Parks was back there. And a 19 play drive. Here's the replay up. on RTC TV4. A 19 play McConaughey drive and they come up empty. 19 plays on that drive. That was after the how many play drive last time and they didn't score. I think 12. Yeah. yeah. And that was Zach Parks who deflected that pass. So the Zebras will have 90 yards to work with this time. And seven minutes and 38 seconds to run off the clock to take the victory. Leading 34-14. Here's Polly. Polly goes up the middle to Dimming. Dimming will run it out. And he'll pick up five Three. on the carry. He'll be second down and five now. Rain just continues to pour here at Barnhart Field. The field's still looking in pretty good shape. Got to give a shout out to the uh, field crew, a.k.a. Athletic Director Reney, Principal Hawes, helping out there a little bit too. Alex giving up 214 yards rushing in this game. I heard the story about the rakes and straightening the lines for a JV or middle school game. Here comes Colton Fervin to the near side. He dives forward, and the ball was fumbled, but the referee said he was down by contact, so the Zebras will maintain the, the ball. And it'll bring up third down and a about three as the clock continues to run. We're down to six and a half minutes to go. 34-14, Zebra's up by 20 on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Play clock at 10, plenty of time for the Zebras. Pollock up under center. Pollock to Deming. Deming around the left side. Deming breaks free. Deming dives forward and he's gonna pick up a big run. And another Steve Moore insurance first down. I'd go so far as to say that was a touchdown saving tackle yes, by A.J. Was. Kelly. It sure was there on the far side. RTC fans, you get to watch the replay. Breaks free, and Kelly just got yeah, him. Because Kelly was the only one who had any yeah. sort of angle on the tackle. So the Zebras taking their time with the play clock running. A gain, of six, a gain of 16. Under six to go in the game clock. Still 12 on the play clock as the Zebras come to the line. 25 carriers for Alex Deming. Pollock up under center. He has been a workhorse. Pollock fakes it to Deming, gives it to Beck. Beck around the left side. Beck still on his feet. Beck finally going to be brought down, and that's going to be close to another first down. We'll see where they spot him. And they do. Another Steve Moore insurance first down for the Zebras. Ball sitting at the... 30, or the 44, 44 yard line. That's what I have, yep. So the Zebras will come with 15 still on the play clock. Carson Pollock takes his time, comes set up under center. Gives it to Ferv. Ferv around the left side. Ferv tucks it back to the left. Ferv still on his feet. Ferv going to be into Myconaqua territory and finally going to be brought down at about the 31 yard line. What a great cutback for Colton Fervita. And another big first down for the Zebras, keeping the drive alive and the clock rolling. Ferv now over 100 yards for the game. He's great night for Colton Fervita. In fact, all big, the big three in the backfield really just having a great night. All over 100 yards. I think that's the first time that's happened this year. Yeah, I, I, I remember believe it so. Happened at, I, I know it happened at Benton Central in the section last year. They might, might have happened at Seager as well. It might have happened a couple other times. So here's Ferv in motion. He gets it again. Ferv cuts it back up the middle. Colton Fervita dives across the 
30 or 25 down to the 24. Going to be just shy of the first down. It's going to be second and two now for the Zebras. Four and a half to go as the Zebras lead by 20, 34-14. Pollock coming set up under center. 12 on the play clock. Takes his time, and we're going to have a penalty flag against the Zebras. First one, isn't it? Is that the first yeah, offensive I one? I think so, yeah. yeah. Besides the personal foul earlier, I think this is the first uh, offensive foul. So a big, big penalty there as it moves it back now to second and about seven. So the Zebras will recall the play. Clock rolls with 4.05 to go here in the fourth. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Next week, we hit the week off. Zebras get the bye for the first week of the sectionals. First time that's happened as far as uh, we can go back into the archives. <laughs> yeah. Here's the pitch to Ferv. Ferb cuts it back up the middle. Ferb still on his feet. Ferb going to be down around the 14, 15 yard line. In fact, they're going to mark him at the 16. Another Steve Moore insurance first down. Ferb has found another gear in this he game. Has. He's really seeing the holes yeah. well. And don't forget, coming up in the next three minutes, Val, we've got to pick the Edith Rose player of the game. They craft products with your health and well-being in mind. It's a tough one tonight to choose from. Carson Pollock up under center. Pollock. Again to Ferv. He's still got it working. Keep him going inside the 10. And down around the 7. Keep feeding him. He's got the hot hand. Yeah, Dausch made the tackle, but a little too far down the field for, if you're Coach Campbell for his taste. Nine-yard pickup for Colton Ferv a second and one. I think uh, Coach Schaefer would like to get Ferv in the end zone to cap it off for him for the night. Ferv on a big 55-yard run back in the first quarter. Hasn't seen the end zone yet. Zebra's taking their time here, calling the play. Coach Schaefer going to call a timeout, I think, maybe? I think that's what he's letting the play clock run down, and he will call his first timeout of the second half. Two and a half minutes to go before the Zebras can put this thing away here tonight at Barnhart Field, leading 34-14 on the Insulation Guys scoreboard, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Barnhart Field, Zebras call the timeout, and they will have two and a half minutes to go to finish this thing off, leading 34-20. to And uh, we get a minute here in a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and announce the Edith throws player of the game. Val and I talked about it during the timeout. We come to an agreement. So here is the Zebras actually putting in some subs. It's Clarence Garrett in there, and it's like a fumble the football. And McConaughey recovers. Zebras put in the second, some of the second string, and unfortunately they're not ready, focused because of the wet football, and they fumble it. Turnover on the Zebras, and McConaughey and Braves will take it now from the seven. Well, we're going to go ahead and announce the Edith Rose player of the game where they craft products for your wealth and health being in mind. And, Val, we have come to a conclusion. We're going to give it to the offensive line. When you yeah. have three running backs all over 100 yards in a game like tonight, big battle, wet, and pouring down rain, those guys work their tails off to get those guys the holes. Congratulations, the offensive line, the three, or the uh, offensive player of the game. Yeah, I think a little bit of redemption, I think. I don't think they played that great against yeah. Southwood. I think, they, I think they wanted to redeem themselves and not a great Southwood game, and, and they've done fantastic. Open holes for everybody. So now it looks like a new quarterback also in for McConaughey. They run the ball this time, and they'll actually lose a yard. Cameron Metcalf, is that the quarterback, number 12? That's what I was trying to see. Is it 12 or 15? As yeah, Coach Schaefer pulling out some of the defensive line guys as well, getting them a well-deserved break. I think it's 15. 
As he hands yeah. it off. His 15, that's going to be freshman Aiden Robinson. Yeah, that's Aiden Robinson, a quarterback. And that, that was Jackson Sullivan who just carried Sullivan the ball, and that was Brent Beck who stopped him. So it's going to be third and ten now for the McConaughey Braves. Minute 35. Big stop here for the defense. Be the third straight year Rochester's beaten McConaughey. Prior to 2021, they had, they had never beaten them. And I don't think either year does the last three. The ball goes into the end zone, and that's going to be a safety. Zebras get two points. The 118 mark. So who gets credit for that, Val? Anybody? Because he just – quarterback just fell on it in back there. I don't – Yeah, I just uh, – The defense? <laughs> yeah. Hold, yeah. Yeah. So the Zebras go up 36-14. After the safety. But let's uh, go ahead and read those linemen off, uh, Val. It, uh, it really did the, the job tonight. Uh, it, it kind of mixed yeah. it up a little bit. But Xavier Vance at left yeah. tackle. Bra Brady Beck at left guard. Callan Fervita uh, saw a lot of time at center tonight. Uh, it was uh, Peyton Young at right guard and uh, at right tackle. Uh, well, Roswell Zeiger saw some time there. Mason Heisey saw Mason a lot of time Heisey there, too. Well. Uh, yeah. So congratulations to those yeah. guys. Really doing a great job tonight. Our, our uh, player of the game goes to players of the game, goes to the offensive line tonight. Congra congratulations. Zebras are going to win it tonight as uh, they lead it now 36-14. And they will get the kickoff as McConaughey will have to kick it away. And they will kick it from the 20 yard line. So uh, I also want to give a shout out to the fans that uh, stuck it out tonight. Uh, not the greatest night of weather, but uh, some loyal fans out here tonight with the umbrellas Very. and trash bags and ponchos and whatever else they could find. Uh, congratulations to them. And McConaughey with a, a pretty decent crowd as well still here uh, cheering on their team. So, unfortunately, not the best of nights for football as that one will roll back and Parks will pick it up. And he'll take a knee. And the Zebras will have it first and 10 with just a minute 17 to go here before they can celebrate the victory here tonight. Again, Peru beat Manchester tonight, so Rochester will end up in second place, 7-1 and one on the TRC season, 7-2 and two overall, as they are on break next week. They get a bye as they will get the winner of either Lafayette Central Catholic or Winnemac, that game to be played at LCC next Friday night. And whoever wins it, We'll get to host the Zebras because automatically yes. Zebras on the road because of the bye mm -hmm. in week number two. So, Should be a victory formation here. Here is Clarence Garrett up under center, and he'll take the knee, and clock will continue to run. Have to do it uh, a couple more times. Clock rolls, under a minute. And the Zebras will uh, do it again as they will win it tonight. 36-14, the final. 230 yards tonight for Alex Deming, 136 for Colton Faverta, 104 for Brant Beck. Big runs tonight, and the Zebras, that will do it as they win tonight the final score, 36-14 over the McConaughey Braves to get the victory and to seal the deal for second place in the TRC as the Zebras win it. Best of luck next week to the McConaughey Braves as they head to sectionals as well with a record of 6-3. Uh, and three as they take on uh, Northwestern. Northwestern. They, they get him in Bunker yeah. Hill next week. In Bunker Hill, back to McConaughey High School. So best of luck to them. Again, the final here tonight, 36-14. The Zebras win it. We'll be back with the postgame show being brought to you by the Tire Store. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, everybody.
Val, we'll talk to you here in a couple weeks. See you in two weeks. All right, thanks, Val. Again, the final here tonight, 36-14. Back with the postgame show after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4.